Hey guys, second video here about the Aladdin sales mindset. So probably many times you had like the, the willing to, while you have been in the university at high school, maybe you had, it was a woman, uh, a girl, a hot girl in the bar and you wanted to go to her, to speak to her. <clears throat> With your friends, you were brainstorming what to tell her. Yes, here, here. So finally, you brainstorm many ideas. You tried to go to speak to her. But finally, while you started making the first step, the first step, then you got cracked. You got frightened. So what happened was that all the limiting beliefs that you will not feel adequate to speak to her, that she will reject you, that how you will feel if she will reject you and if the other girls will laugh with you and how does it feel, uh, the yelling and the bullying. <clears throat> and if um, other people in the bar will laugh, so this is huge damage, huge rejection, and all of this rejection is reflecting really, really in your sales process. So what's happening is that Finally, you didn't go to the girl. And what you wanted, you wanted just to speak to her. But you didn't ask her. You didn't go there to ask her, hey, you know, I'm Chris. What's your name? Can I make your company? You didn't ask. Same while you have been in the high school and you wanted to ask a question and you thought that you will be <clears throat> the stupid guy, or maybe you have been in the university, or even in your business, you wanted really to, to ask something, uh, some question in some group, and you just stumbled because you felt that this question is really stupid, and that you people will tell you that you're stupid. So finally, you didn't ask. And the same is in sales. So many people I see that they send, they send whatever they want, but they don't ask. And when you ask, you will maybe probably receive. But if you don't ask, you will not receive. So let me say just an example. <clears throat> Let's say, for example, that you are a person, a parcel person, that you are about to deliver some parcel, some book to some people. So you go from door to door and you knock because you want to to promote your book. So you go, you knock some doors and finally some people are very much rude. They say, what do you want here? What do you knock my door? So they close the door with angry way and finally these people are being rejected. But this parcel guy is not, is not stubborn. It's not making about the rejection. So he just knock one door, another, and the guy is opening, says, who are you? Hey, you know, I'm Chris. I have a book. How's your financial situation? Why you ask? Because I have a book that might can help you. So what's this book? Okay, this book can take your situation. He can uh, quit, make you quit your job and simultaneously start a side business. And you can, in 90 days, make double the money of your salary from your nine to five job. So then you will have the capability to make your dreams reality, blah, 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 blah. So the guy says, yeah, that sounds great. More, more. And then the salesman, of course, the parcel guy says that, okay, can I come in? The guy says, would you please come tomorrow at 5 p.m. because my kids are sleeping? Fine, deal, 5 p.m. So this guy, because he knocked the doors, he just received. He got many rejections that he received. And what he received? A sale. But maybe he knocked 10 doors, 10 doors. And finally, he got one sale. And maybe five of the people were rude. Some maybe it was a dog. And maybe the dog would bark him or maybe bite him. But he didn't, man he didn't mind about biting. He didn't mind about, about rejection. He just knocked here's my book just all of this so this is how is the core of the sales mindset yeah there is techniques yeah there is sequences yes there is many upgraded things but 
<clears throat> we have to think about the core and the core is the rejection. And as more you are capable of healing yourself from the past trauma that is causing you to be afraid of the rejection, you will have the foundation that is needed so that you feel the rejection, but it doesn't affect you. And when it doesn't affect you, you are becoming the warrior of sales. So yes, then you are great. You take some courses of closing. Yes, then you have tactics techniques yes you take some coaching some miracles coaching even like joe vitale and yeah you become a high ticket closer but remember one thing that so to become a high ticket closer you have to just remove the idea of rejection that is causing you to stop i have something very useful in the third and last video and i hope that i will see you in the third video